Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today I want to show you inside of a push connect fitting. All right. This is one of those shark bite type fittings. Shark bite is a brand. Many companies at this point make this style of push connect fitting. And I mean, these are just a couple that I've taken out of houses. All right. So I want to crack one of these open today and I want to actually show you the inside and show you how it works. So come along, let's get to fix it. Okay, so Logan's got us hooked up with a cord. We've got a random extension cord out here. It's such a nice day, ain't it, Logan? Yep. What we're using here is the Dremel 4200. All right, this bad boy is awesome. Like, it really, they made this so easy to put together at this point, like putting everything together. So we just take this, you just grab these two little clips right here, pull that down, pop that in. That ain't going nowhere. All right, so then you're able to take this piece right here, you're able to pop that down. They've really made it so easy. Turn it sideways and boom, now you've got this really thin cutting wheel. And hopefully this is gonna help us to cut one of these in half, all right? That's what I was going for today. I actually just wanna chop this in two and I wanna show you what we're working with here. So before we do that, we'll go ahead and I'll show you what we're looking at here. Remember the other day, I had used the little tool that takes this off. They sell those little cheap tools, but here's a way that I do it a lot. Just an adjustable jaw wrench, right? It gives you a little bit more leverage. You're able to take this, pop that up, and that just slides right on out. Really works pretty easy. All right, you got your safety glasses on? No. Okay, you gotta go get them. Mm -hmm. If you wanna hang out with me, you gotta go get them, okay? okay. All right, perfect. Logan Gardner's getting his safety glasses on. Make sure this is all nice and tight. And let's begin. Okay. You can also adjust this up and crank it up just a little bit more. Oh, and our power died. What happened there? Whoa, what happened? Did our, do you wanna go check our GFI? What's the GFI? Okay, so we're about three quarters of a way through. So we made it about three quarters of the way through this. And guess what? My Dremel died. <laughs> it sucks. I went and checked the GFI. I plugged it in a bunch of other places, kind of freaking out and kind of in disbelief because this ain't but like been used 15 times or so. And it's just done. It's gone. Such a bummer. So... Luckily, I went down to my neighbor's house. I just said, hey man, do you have a Dremel? I'm in the middle of shooting a video. And he actually gave me this die grinder, which is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead. He hooked me up with this cool little thing. Actually, it's gonna allow me to switch it down to my small little blade. That way I don't have to use this thicker blade. Cause I really wanted to just kind of keep it thin, see if I can make it roll like that. So, <laughs> detours. Okay, so. Just pop that bad boy off. <laughs> They've made it so easy, but man, I can't believe this did that. Blows my mind, dude. Once you get this nut taken off, then the easiest way to do this is gonna be to just put this back in there and kind of get that started that way. It gets popped out a little bit, then you can just grab it to remove it, All right? Then you're able to take this one and slap that bad boy in there. And that actually is gonna reduce it down to the other little size that I need. This size right here, All right, bam. And now we're back to the same size cutting wheel. So get this put in there. Get this on there. Not plugged in now. 
This is awesome, man. I'm so glad he rocking this. Okay. All right. I think we're back in the biz now. So we've got this bad boy plugged in. Let's turn her on. Oh, man. Pop that out. Pull that bad boy over. starting to collapse so we're just going to come at it from the other side and finish it off so we're going to let this cool down and then we'll go inside and check it out right this is a shark bite variant this is not actually a shark bite they were just they're the brand they're the first company and it's kind of like crescent wrench everybody just calls these fittings a shark bite fitting but as you can see you go ahead and you pop this apart like that's what we're looking at inside. Slide that out of the way. We don't need to see two sides of it, right? But this thing right away, I'll tell you, this is solid brass, dude. Like really, these things are actually built quite well. I can tell you that with ProPress, which is what's used a lot these days, it's just a fitting with almost the same kind of stuff, except it doesn't have the plastic insert pieces and it allows you to remove it. At some point I'll do a video on those as well, but check that out. Like, here we go. We'll just pop some of these pieces out, right? So this is the little push sleeve. That little push sleeve allows you to push on this little spring action right here to open it up and allows you to remove the pipe. You remove that, let's get that out of there. And then there's this other little piece in there that allows you to slide the pipe forward that way. And this little piece right here allows it to go forward and doesn't allow it to pull out with the way that that's shaped. Unless you push that in, then it flexes it enough and allows you to remove the pipe. And then what seals it up right here is an O-ring. Now, when I cut this, man, it was crazy dirty. So I had to spend some time, clean all this up so I could show you everything that's in here. And then the outer plastic piece. And that just sits down in there. So this whole thing, essentially solid brass, right? Let's pop all this out and take all that out. And you can just have a look at that whole thing. So how they do this is they put all these things, they set them down in here, they put all these little pieces in there, and this end is not beveled like this, right? You can look right here and you can see that these ends are a lot thinner than this middle piece right here. And how they get all that sealed in there then is they just kind of got some kind of crimping machine where they crimp this whole thing down and allow it to make all this stuff set down in there and allow it to do this, right? It's pretty sweet. Like I have to say, 
overall, I use these things. I like them. It's going to be a solid fix. You're going to find people out there that hate them. You're going to find people out there that like them. But I just wanted to show you the inside of them. I use these things. And I mean, hey, man, there's a reason why they cost a bit. This is a lot of brass. Like really, this piece and this piece with nothing in it, it's quite heavy. I mean, they they really do make a a quality product that I guess when used right works. I, I've seen a couple other things I wanted to show you guys too. This also, it had this little tubing insert in it. I didn't put it in whenever I took it apart because it was really hard to get it to stay together. But this piece right here goes in the end and whenever you're using uh, PEX or CPDC, they say they want you to use this this little tubing thing. And what it does is it actually inserts inside of here, right? So this will go inside of this tubing like that and set down in there. Now it reduces the flow a little bit. They say you should use it, but I can tell you, I've seen it a lot where it's not used. So that, you know, we'll talk about this at another time as well. I've got another little vid coming out talking about these little connectors. Okay, so I really hope that you guys liked this in-depth look inside the shark bite. And now I hope you can just get a little sense of what it looks like inside of this thing and what it's doing for you. You can tell, like I, I just want to show you, like these things are built really solid. If you need to use one, I say use one. I know there's a lot of plumbers out there that are going to tell you, ah, don't do that. Like you don't want to put, I'm not going to put that crap in my house. Well, in a pinch, man, this stuff works. If you don't want to solder, this stuff works. It's good. I, I use it. I like it in temporary situations, but I'm also pretty comfortable with soldering, right? If I wasn't, I would have no problem using this. All right, so I thought this push to connect video was dead in the water. All right, like just about done when the Dremel died. I think I'm gonna be buying a die grinder. I don't know if they make a miniature one, but I'm gonna be looking it up after I finish this video. All right, because that thing was awesome. Big shout out to my neighbor. That dude's awesome and I just dropped a shark bite fitting. Man, I really hope you guys enjoyed the in-depth look of a push to connect, right? At some point, maybe we'll chop a shark bite fitting in half and we'll see if there's any kind of difference between a generic, and maybe it's not really generic at this point, but a different brand of push to connect fitting. I really wonder, because Sharkbite was the first. I mean, they've been doing this a long time. I remember the first time those guys came to our plumbing shop, I was blown. Like, well, all right, it's pretty cool. It solves a lot of issues real quick. And I'm gonna tell you, being in Phoenix, when it's 115 outside in the summer and having to get up in somebody's attic to do some work, Sharkbite came in handy so many times, dude. Like, awesome. When that came about, it was good. You, so you gotta fire up your torch in a 140 degree attic it sucks, all right? And I've been there too many times. <laughs> oh man, too many times. So, awesome, right? There, there is a reason for these things. And I just hope you guys enjoyed the in-depth look. That's it, I wanna show you guys what it looked like. You wanna know what your money's buying and nobody else really gonna chop it open, I don't think. I really hope you guys enjoyed the videos. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon. Mustache out.